Moms are the best. And this year, ZNS and Comfort Suites wants to help you have the very best Mother's Day ever. Just tune in to ZNS TV's Bahamas Tonight, Evening News, Monday, May 8th through Thursday, May 11th. Watch for the different code word each day. Then go to www.ZNSBahamas.com. Enter the code word of the day and answer the question, and you will be eligible to win a three-day, two-night stay at Comfort Suites on Paradise Island, where you can enjoy not only the amenities there, but also have full access and signing privileges at Atlantis. The winner will be announced on Friday, May 12th, just in time for Mother's Day. Moms are the best. And now ZNS and Comfort Suites will make this Mother's Day the best. In other news this evening, 32 correctional officers are undergoing correctional behavioral health training. Senior Director of Professional Development at the American Correctional Association, Dr. Elizabeth Gondals, says the training will equip staff with the fundamentals of mental illness. She says understanding when inmates are showing different behavioral patterns can signal a problem and ultimately reduce violence, suicides, and self-harm. The training brings together the security section of the facility, the correctional officers, and the therapister from the treatment side. It's a human rights issue. We need to, we know that there's mental illness. And if there's mental illness, we have to, we have to treat these individuals. Second of all, second of all, we have to arm our staff and we have to uh, prepare our staff to deal with, to recognize that the people that are coming Where into our it? facilities have this issue and how to de-escalate situations that could, could not only hurt other inmates, but also could hurt the staff. And it could put this, the correctional facilities um, at risk of, uh, of, of issues and, and violence. Wayne Munro adding that the training will allow BDOCs to meet requirements under the Mental Health Act and allow staff to identify when intervention is necessary. He says because those inmates are housed together, the extra training staff receive is important. There have been, I think, three in total fatalities that um, either relate to self-harm or interaction with other inmates. Um, they call them residents now. Um, that is really an impetus in driving the need to get a proper facility in place as quickly as possible. And so that is a, a real issue.